My name is Andreas Potmeyer, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin, Ireland. Today I'm going to show you how to connect an AWS Lambda function to an Amazon Relational Database Service instance. Let's get started. First, make sure that you have an Amazon RDS instance running. Note its endpoint and port number. Also, make sure you have the necessary credentials to access the RDS instance. Log in to the AWS Management Console and then navigate to the Lambda service. Choose Create Function. You can create a new function, use a blueprint, or deploy a serverless application. As I have a deployment package ready to go, I'll be uploading it as a zip file. For this demonstration, let's create a new function. Enter a name for your function, select the runtime, and then choose or create a new execution role with the necessary permissions. When your function is created, scroll down to the function code section to enter the code that you want to use. For this example, we'll use Python. Here's a simple code snippet to connect to an RDS instance using the PyMySQL library. Next, to save your changes, choose Deploy. Now, let's set up the necessary environment variables. Go to the Configuration tab, then Environment Variables, and add the database connection details. To allow the Lambda function to connect to your RDS instance, Make sure the security group of your RDS instance allows inbound connections from the Lambda function. Modify the security group of your RDS instance to allow inbound traffic from the Lambda's security group. Also, make sure that your Lambda function is in the same Amazon Virtual Private Cloud and has the necessary subnet and security group configurations. Go to the Configuration tab, then VPC, and configure it with the appropriate information. Finally, Test your Lambda function to make sure that it can connect to the RDS instance. You can create a test event and then run the function to see the results. You will see a successful connection message in the logs if everything is set up correctly. And now you know how to connect a Lambda function to an RDS instance. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.